Hey, let's go! Today we're gonna implement DM GUI inside of Unity. Let's go! So if you don't know about DM GUI, then this is the basically GitHub page. This is created by Omar. It's a debug tool basically that you can design and uh, modify as you wish uh, in runtime. It's very cool and it's very practical. For example, in game uh, development, so it's using by a lot of people uh, especially like rockstar um bethesda uh ubisoft i think you can go to wikipedia and then go down to let's see software using dm gui and here you will have a completely list of companies and games that are using dm gui they may they may not use that in the sense of uh, deploying uh, the actual game and having that debug menu inside of the game but on the development they are probably using dm gui as a debug menu um, when they work in that game so for example ubisoft sony uh, bmg if we scroll down we have cd project dread with cyberpunk we have let's see ubisoft again and we have rockstar for gta 6 so it's very cool to see that uh, a lot of companies is using um uh, the um, gui as a debug menu so it's very practical and it's very easy to use however it's using c++ and unity is using c sharp that doesn't mean that uh, it cannot be implemented in c sharp however there's some limitation when it comes to unity if you want to use the mu i would highly recommend to use in a c++ project however you can also use that in unreal engine as i'm doing myself on the other hand you can implement the mu inside of unity however there's some niches about it so let's go about it so let's open unity hub then we're gonna create a new project and we're gonna create some script about the gui so i'm gonna click new project and i'm gonna click fps micro game then i'm just gonna give a name so let's call this unity dm gui dm gui like so and create project after we've done that we can copy this current scene so i'm gonna go to let's say select scene asset then i'm gonna duplicate and we're gonna call this temp to temp scene I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna remove everything except the level part. There we go. So now we have an empty scene. I'm gonna add a camera just so we have something to render. Uh, let's take a. Uh, let's set the camera over here. There we go. And if you start the game, we should see only the cam and nothing else. So let's add the um, GUI them. So let's go back to this GitHub page. And we're gonna scroll down where we see repos and how to install. So here's a quick note. Uh, the guy who made it possible to use uh, the MGU inside of Unity is called Real Game Software. Now if you look at this repo, it's a very old repo. It hasn't been updated in three years. So we have an issue uh, that in the newest Unity version, we have an unsaved uh, current context problem. So this guy Matt Manji 17 has forked the repo and updated the issues. So we can install that uh, package instead. So we only add um, the the user's name and the Google, which is original uh, repo name, and a hashtag to use that particular branch. Now if you look at this repo, it has a master branch and it has a Matthew branch. We need to use that Matthew branch in order to uh, download this git. So we simply just copy this URL, go back to Unity, go to Package Manager, click on plus icon, then add package from git URL, paste the link and click add. There we go. After we have installed that, we can create a new folder called the MGUI. Inside of that folder, we can create some uh, asset from the MGUI. <clears throat> So we go to create dm gui and here we have in the settings i mean call that people init settings asset then i'm gonna go to back to dm gui then go to font atlas configuration then we're gonna add just default over here we're gonna click add font now this expect a font inside the streaming asset folder 
this is very particular uh, folder which I'm gonna give a link in the description if you wanna read about it but we're gonna just create a folder called stream assets like so over here I'm gonna create a new folder called fonts here we're gonna import some fonts so what I'm gonna go do is go back to Google so go to a new tab uh, type in fonts.google.com and you will go to this page which Google offers you free fonts I believe it's public domain so you can select some fonts over here uh, you can have moon space you can have display handwriting sans serif and sharif uh, I believe I'm gonna take a VT 323 but this is a sort of pixel uh, liest, uh, font so I'm gonna click down on family this will give me a step which I'm gonna extract into streaming asset uh, fonts folder so over here I have the zip I'm gonna click extract to the folders name and I'm gonna delete the zip I'm also gonna change the name like so and there we go we have our font now go back to unity and click on uh, font atlas uh, the config file and I'm gonna click and drag the font inside the font uh, atlas now on the config we're gonna change size in pixel and for starters we're gonna just uh, type in 8 or 12 for example now this is uh, the size in pixel how it's gonna draw so to keep in mind it's not uh, dependent on the density of pixel meaning which aspect ratio you have or which uh, height and width you have but remember that now the GUI is pretty much shut up now we just need to add some scripts and components to it the so first of all in order to render the GUI needs to add some uh, render feature so go back to our render pipeline asset over here and we're gonna have render list let's click on that and we're gonna add a render feature which is the GUI feature and you don't need to mess about them so just leave it like that now the GUI can render inside unity however you need to add some components in order to act with uh, the GUI so let's add a new game object called the GUI like so uh, just reset the transform doesn't really matter let's add the GUI component like so it needs our camera and it needs our render GUI feature now in order to add the render feature we need to save our project then we can add our render feature now the camera which uh, is our main camera so let's just add that and we just need to add some uh, the configuration uh, file like so and there we go now the MGUI completely set up however nothing will happen because you haven't done your custom script in order to show a uh, damn GUI so let's add a new script called the uh, I'm GUI demo uh, like so and just create the script like so now go back to our github page and we're gonna just copy our uh, sample code so I'm gonna click here copy and I'm just gonna paste it over here now because of uh, the way I structure I'm just gonna take our methods remove the class name and just paste it over here now this require a namespace which is I'm GUI uh, net because this is using .net let's go back to unity and let's compile this code and let's add that script into our scene so let's click on the GUI object and let's add the script and there we go now everything should work so let's save and let's press play and everything should be working so we should have a demo by the GUI uh, window and there we go we have that so if you change our aspect ratio and our quality of the game resolution you will see the the window changes also so it's not depending on um the density of pixel but rather the like the wind width and height and all that kind of stuff which is a little problematic power everything should uh, be working with the MGV. so you have a lot of things to do you have menus you have a lot of uh, sidebars and tools and it's a very handy nifty uh, debug menu if you want to use that uh, so for example our pixel density uh, well our size of pixel is very low so let's change that real quick so let's go to our font as less configuration and set it to for example 22 i think that should be a higher quality let's see and there we go we have a higher font uh, size so we can look at it more clearly and we have a lot of stuff we have input we have tabbing so you can do a lot of things with damn gooey 
if you want to see an example let's use our advanced script now this is what i have created so let's just copy this and we're going to change the name to damn gooey demo so let's just remove the window for example and we can remove that in the namespace there we go so let's go back to unity and let's compile this code so the advanced script will show you uh, basically a demo of uh, how you can use it so we have game manager we can statement load and close the tab we can enable some stuff if we change the time it will change our text as well we have some color picker we can change it to red or blue or white we can also hover to see what color it is and also have a color picker if we click on that that is very handy we have load and save so custom buttons we have some uh some script when having a button and we have some we uh, can type on text as well we have some scroll stuff we have mouse position uh, we have some curves draggable end so it doesn't matter uh, which number it is you can just drag it however you want you can drag to the maximum int value uh, minimum value we have fps how much uh, the fps is inside the window right now we can also see the tabs so we have some basic we have some a lot of stuff here so you can do a lot of things with um, them GUI. So I hope this gives you a helpful lesson how to get started with them GUI. If you want to have a manual, you can go to this link. So we have helpful links and them GUI manual in C++. So note that this manual is in C++. However, you can look at some code and uh, see the resemblance inside of C Sharp. So uh, we have, for example, a uh, collection header. We have some filter, we have some text and draw. We have some lot of stuff that is similar to um, C, uh, C Sharp version. So you can look over here how to implement some stuff. Uh, for example, widgets, we have trees, we have basic trees, child, and uh, some stuff. So we have trees over here and we can see, uh, let's see, uh, we, uh, uh, how do you uh, pause? I believe you can, yeah. So we have Alt, uh, Control, or C to toggle this mode. So uh, we want to have this. Um, and click on Exit to exit there. So now we have this basic tree node. And here we can see how it is implemented. It's using a for loop, using a tree node, and then pops the tree node uh, from, uh, yeah, from the whole scene, basically. So this is how you can implement in C++. Uh, so you need to be some, uh, I, I wouldn't say expert, but you can look at this code and just see how it's implemented in C Sharp by just looking at the uh, sort of structure and uh, how it's implemented basically. Other helpful links is the original repo and the forked repo and you also have uh, a dmgui.net version and over here you also have the C uh, version of the MGUI so only C not C++ only C then you have the original uh, repo which is the C++ version uh, which is created by Omar so here you have the MGUI and um, so this is a helpful tool if you want to debug and create a sort of menu system to help us to speed up the, your game development project now note when you're using the MGUI inside of Unity uh, is using a URP render feature meaning if you try to dra uh, drag the window outside the game view uh, it will not uh, be rendered so remind that if you want to use the debug menu system uh, you can't use it outside the game view however in C++ and Unreal you can drag the window outside the game view and still have on for example as your second monitor so it's not very practical in the sense of Unity however it's a very small tool to get started with now a final note if you are using assembly definition inside of Unity you're going to be uh, reminded to use a uh, DM GUI assembly definition as well so let's create a script folder uh, let's call it just scripts and let's add a disassembly definition of the scripts just so now let's add the script inside a folder and after that we're gonna go to inspector over here now inside our console it will now complain that it's missing uh, the whole namespace and the whole uh, package basically so what we need to do is go to assembly definition reference click on plus icon 
and add the I'm GUI. I believe it's just I'm GUI. RG I'm GUI. And we also need the Unity version. So R I'm, I'm GUI. Uh, let's see. Dot I'm GUI. Dot Unity. There we go. So those uh, are some of the definition you need to use. Now, if you're using editor, uh, the assembly definition, you need to use the editor version as well. But because this is just uh, regular, so we are not using any dependency on the editor side, we can remove this and just click on apply. And there we go. Our error will not be gone if you just clear our console and everything should be working fine so this is how you manage your work if you're using assembly definition inside your project hopefully this video was helpful if it was then please give a like and if you want to see more content then subscribe and i will see you in the next video goodbye everyone